As you can see, this is Lenovo X1 Nano model, which is a smart, I mean, notebook, very small and compact in size. So today I'm going to show you how to install Windows in it. Okay, so we're going to get into BIOS. We're going to change all the major settings. By the way, just to let you know, there are two ways to install Windows in it. One of them in UEFI environment, another one is Legacy. Legacy is quite old, so I'm going to show you the latest way to install Windows. It does not matter if this is Windows 10, you're going to install or 11 because the procedure will be the same and you can apply for both. So first of all, you should have bootable Windows uh, 11 thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. Also, you need one of the adapter, as you can see the type C to USB, because most of the time, you know, the USB that we have in, U in USB type, not type C, so that's why you need one of the adapter because this machine does have only two USB port, one of them charging, another one is, let's say, for USB output or if you want to take out any video like Type-C to HDMI and stuff like that. All right, so this is ThinkPad X1 Nano. As you can see, the model number is right there. Okay, and today we're going to install Windows 11 in it. So I'm going to show you the BIOS settings, everything, what you need to do to reinstall either Windows 11 or Windows 10 okay both of them in UEFI format so just make sure you correctly create it which has to be bootable by the way this machine does have only type C connector if I take an outdoor charger as you can see on the left hand side there are two charger okay and on the left hand side type C nothing so only two connections right here so what you have to do first we need to get any sort of uh, adapter if you have this sort of USB if you have directly type C then you don't need this adapter so first of all we're gonna connect it here and then we're gonna reconnect in one of this port which is right here and another one we're gonna connect the charger so make sure we don't get data cut the power cut okay so from here, what are you going to do now? We're going to ESC or back. We're going to switch it off by pressing and holding the power button. Once it's switched off, we're going to switch it back on from here. And we are ready to enter the enter button to interrupt the normal boot. says F1 to enter the setup. Once we get into F1, then it's going to give us directly this sort of reflection. Let me go back a little closer. Okay. So from here, we can see there is the main section. It tells you all about uh, the product. Okay. And if you go to config And we can see everything right here. So we just need to go to USB. Charging battery mode. That's fine. We don't need to do anything. And then we're going to go to power just to check. Okay. That's also fine. We don't need to do anything. These are the most probably settings in there. And then we're going to go to security. Once we get into the security, we need to go to security chip. As you can see, the Intel TPM is enabled. So make sure if you would like to install Windows 11, you keep it enabled. Okay, once it's done, then we're going to go back. And then we need to find Secure Boot, which is right there. So hit Enter again. And one second, let's go back. Maybe we made a mistake. Secure Boot. All right, so Secure Boot also has to be enabled. Once the Secure Boot is enabled, that's fine. We need to go back again so in this time we're going to go to startup section right here so click here and then as you can see it says uh, boot mode quick and boot order lock that's fine boot device list f12 is enabled so that's pretty much everything so we're going to save the changes by pressing f10 once you do that it's going to go and we're going to keep pressing f12 get into temporary boot option okay 
So as you can see, there are two of them. One of them shows NVMe, uh, which is the internal drive. And the second one is my USB, which is that one. Okay. This is from Kingstone. So it says Kingstone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it. Press ESC. That's fine. Now it's going to load up from this. From here we need to choose whatever we need to choose but sometimes the trackpad goes uh, disabled which is normal as you can see the trackpad doesn't work. In this case what are you going to do? We are going to use external mouse. We need to connect into the same adapter so end of the day you need this adapter anyway. Yeah. So you are going to hit next. You need to choose whatever you want to choose. United Kingdom hit next install now and I don't have the product key which is fine and now it shows all the versions so I need either 10 home or 11 pro whatever it is we can hit next we can accept the terms and condition and hit next again and if you would like to do fresh installation you need to go through this one and once you go there there are a lot of partition so this is only the video purpose I'm not going to delete anything but if you would like to install the freshly what you need to do you need to delete all of them one by one so select it go to delete confirm it select again go to delete confirm so what's going to happen is going to create a single partition from the entire drive okay so once it, this is done if we hit next it's going to go directly it's going to start installing the windows without any issues okay so pretty much that's all. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.